throw fish in the tanks. Um, they're fed just Purina trout chow pretty much and some lower uh, protein chow. I use wildlife feeders because they're cheaper than fish feeders that I've kind of jerry-rigged up to, to feed my fish on, uh, on a regular schedule. The fish get fed. Uh, the water flows through the middle of that, that uh, tank has a stamp pipe. The water flows through there. goes through the piping down here into a settlement tank. The water slides across the top of the settlement tank to salt and settle out. And then uh, it returns. Run an oversized pipe so I've got a loop installed to kind of take a little stress off it. Kind of it gives me more flexibility if I want to run more towers up here to go off of there. Um, but then the tower goes down to my pump, which is right here. It's just a regular pool pump. Just a, it's a jacuzzi. It's designed for uh, you know in-ground pools or something like that. Um, it works awesome, lasts forever. Um, water goes up. I run it up. This is a UV filter. I don't use this ever anymore. The system is established, and uh, Mother Nature kind of takes care of herself. The biology just works. So I don't ever use that uh, to, to kill anything. But um, it runs up, and then it's distributed through a network of pipes into my towers. And uh, on this side, I went with Black Poly. I'm going to convert this system over here to Black Poly pretty soon, too. The PVC is just causing me too many issues lately. But um, the water pours into the top of the tower. You know, it's just perfect. The, the tops of the towers are exposed. It drips down through the media. Um, as it goes, it's the water, the waste, the waste uh, nutrients, and the waste products in the water are removed either by mechanical or biological filtration and then the water that drips out the bottom is a little cleaner than the stuff that went in and you just repeat that cycle and it keeps your water nice and clean for your fish and it supplies all the nutrients for your plants.